today we're taking a look at the Lux Open Pod System by Wella. On this channel, I do reviews, blogs, how to's, and tutorials. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And you can follow me over on Instagram at Sherlock Holmes. Stick around until the end for more information about all the giveaways I do. And with that being said, let's jump into the review. This is a pretty awesome little pod system. Starting off, we have a 480 milliamp hour internal battery charged via USB at the bottom. Now it takes about two hours or so they say to charge it. One really handy thing though, is it does offer pass throughs so you can be charging it and vaping it at the same time. Battery life on this thing, pretty solid, a whole day, sometimes day and a half, of course, depending on how hard I'm hitting it. Covering up the battery, the Lux has this really nice kind of sheer, it's like an aluminum alloy casing, and it comes in four different colors, black, the gold here, the silver, and then a rose. The shape and feel, like the size of this, is very similar to a jewel. It's a very compact, easy to carry, feels nice in the hand kind of pod system. Down here at the bottom, it says Lux. That's actually stamped out of the casing, which I really like. And there's actually LEDs in here. And so these are gonna indicate your battery levels. And then when you pull out the cartridge, pop it back in, that's going to light up. So this will notify you when you're full battery, like medium, and then when it's getting low. The actual cartridges are where this thing shines. One thing I do not like is the capacity. We're looking at 1.2 mils of juice which isn't a ton. If they made it a little bit taller, they probably could have put more in there. I would have liked to see a little bit more. I do notice I blow through these pretty quickly. Fills at the top very, very easily. So this black piece just pops right off. You have a rubber plug here or gasket that just either can come completely off or there's a hole on either side of the airflow in the middle. You just stick your, your bottle tip down in there. So if you have a glass dropper bottle, just pull that plastic right off or pull that rubber right off and you're good to go. The cap at the very top has one hole for the airflow. And then on the underside, you can see on either side of the airflow hole, it has two plugs that correspond to the holes in the rubber gasket. So once you're done filling it, everything just goes back together. There's really no way to mess this up. It's extremely easy and it pops right back on to the battery. And because it's top fill, it's less prone to leaking. I haven't had any leaking issues at all with this thing. Great little feature about this guy on either side of the pod. It's got these notches that help it kind of fit in there really well. And they're actually clear windows. So you can see how much juice you have left in your pod right there on either side. The ceramic coil in here produces fantastic flavor, like surprising flavor for a pod system. It's a beautiful draw. It's not the most restricted, not the tightest draw that I've had from a pod system, but I'm really liking the airflow on this. It's a lighter draw, so you're getting a nice lighter pull, but you're getting a nice dense vapor production. Yeah, I've tested a bunch of different juices in here and I've actually run a normal, like standard three milligram, my favorite crispy treat, hometown hero juice in here. And it worked fairly well, obviously not as well as the salted line did. Nonetheless, it's still possible. I get that question all the time if you can run normal juices in these pod systems. So for this one, yes, you can. The performance on this is just so solid. The pod itself stays in here and just goes in really nice. It is magnetized. For mine, at least for this one, it feels almost like it's more pressure fitted. I don't know, it's just, it's in there though and not moving, there's no wiggle room at all. I'm really happy with how this comes together. Longevity on the pods, fantastic. Like really, really great, felt it multiple times, different juices amazing flavor still. So the only the only real things that I could like nitpick this thing about are the smaller than average juice capacity. And then I, I'm kind of not a fan of the plastic they, they used at the top and the bottom. In the package, it comes with two, two cartridges, which is great, love that. One of my, all right, so here is one of my major cons. Scouring the internet, I have not been able to find replacement cartridges for this. Um, 
the all the the package together the the battery with the two pods looks like 25 ish dollars depending on where you get it i'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out but i can't find the pods anywhere and i really hope that they become available and this has been out for a little while now so i'm really hoping to see them easily available if somebody knows where you can get them please let me know in the comments and i'll post that in the description as well because this is in my top 10 pod systems right now and I want to be able to use this for a while. Now, if you want to get in on the giveaways, I'm going to be starting back up my Patreon and I'm going to do all my giveaways over there. So I'll drop a link in the description. You can get some more information about that if you're interested. Links for everything I talked about will be in the description. If you like this video, like that smash button. Subscribe if you're not already. Press the bell if you want to be notified when we post new content. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Sherlock Holmes and I'll see you in the next video.